right guys, today we're gonna be making a turkey. I have this little um, sheet here that will be on canvas for you to look at to get some ideas to draw your turkey. So I'm gonna set that off to the side while we're working here today. But first, you wanna start by tracing your hand. So I have my pencil, I always start with a pencil in case I make a mistake, I can erase. And I always also make sure to draw lightly because it's easy to erase if you draw lightly. It gets much harder to erase if you're pressing down hard with your pencil. So I'm gonna first start right here and I'm going to make sure to keep my pencil as straight up and down as I can. And I'm just tracing around my hand. Now you don't have to do this step, but I like to scooch my hand over and trace a couple of my fingers a couple more times because I just like for my turkey to have a lot of feathers. And then you come down. My pinky looks a little weird. I'm gonna make this one a little longer. There we go. You can always change things. There we go. So now my turkey has a lot more feathers. I know it's probably hard to see on the video because I drew it super lightly with my pencil. Um, but then you can see there's all of these different head ideas to give you ideas for what to pick. So I'm gonna draw kind of the bottom part of the head, like those little feathers. And this is another reason why it's great to draw with your pencil first, because there's some things that kind of change as you add more details. And I kind of like this head because I like his eyes that bug out and his big beak. So I'm gonna add those. And feel free, I mean, I have this idea sheet, but feel free to do things your own way. You can add things or change things. So there's my little turkey face so far. Now I can pick out a wing. And I think I like, I don't know, I think I like this wing, just kind of simple. Eh, I don't know, what do I want? Maybe actually this wing. Okay, I'm gonna try to make that one. That's the other thing. Sometimes I start something and I say, eh, I'm not really liking how that's looking. I'm gonna change it up, erase it, and try the other one. Um, this isn't on here, but I like to just kind of add some jumping lines that go all the way around my turkey. I don't know why, I just kind of like for it to have a little more detail on his actual body. So you don't have to add that. It's not on here, but I just like to, and I think when I color it in, I like to add you know, more colors on these parts. So now it's time to add my little feet so I can decide which feet I would like. And I'm thinking maybe these guys, let's see how I do. There we go, my little feet. And then, shows you how to put little feathers. I'm gonna first put these couple little feathers back here. Now, on canvas, I also have all of these ideas for feathers for you because I want you to come up with some really cool designs for your feathers. We don't wanna just keep them super simple. We wanna add some cool stuff. So, of course I have these ideas for you or you can come up with your own. So I kind of sometimes like to go off of these or kind of combine a couple different ideas. Like I like this little idea with the 
put a little flower shapes. I don't know if you can see all those cool designs I did on my feathers, but I think they turned out awesome. Now I've drawn everything really lightly with my pencil. Now I'm gonna grab my black marker or black Sharpie or black crayon to go over all of my lines before I color everything in so that all of my lines stand out and show up really well after I add all those colors if you don't go over your pencil lines and then you color everything in your outlines of everything really get lost in all that color so that's why it's important to go over everything with black So I always think it's important to go through and erase any of those pencil lines you can still see so it doesn't look messy. All right, my turkey is looking so cute. I am ready to color him in. I'm gonna use crayons today because I kind of wanna add a little bit of shading on my turkey. Um, but you can use markers, colored pencils, it's up to you what you use. All right, guys, look at my cute little turkey. He's so cute. I think it would be so fun to add like a background around him. Like, I don't even know, um, some kind of fun stuff like trees or grass or flowers, or you could write like happy Thanksgiving or whatever you want. I think it would be really fun to fill in the background as well. But look at how cute these turned out. I can't wait to see your cute turkeys.